guys, Board Game Hero here and today we are going to play Black Sonata by John Kian. This is a pre print and play version. I just used some cheap paper, stick this to a normal carton. And um, yeah, I sleeve these cards. These are the Dark Lady. So let's just go through the components just a little uh, quickly. So here we have the reference cards, the turns and the setup. This is the board. This is the map of London, Shakespeare's London. These are the Dark Lady cards, also the clue cards. Here's our trackers to track the Dark Lady's location and could be locations. Here are our deduction tokens. So we need that to find the Dark Lady. Um, here are our location keys. These are the cities. So each city has their own location key card. This is the time tracker card that if you reach zero, you lose. So it starts with two. So you have basically you have three turns, three rounds. And these are the fog cards. These are just, let's, let's look at it. Uh, discard the top card from the fog deck. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Sometimes useless like this one. Sometimes good like this one. Look ahead at the back to the next five style cards. So you know where the dark lady will will be so these are good and you get to use that when you i mean i mean you get to add those cards when you look for the dark lady more about that later and here we have the stealth deck which is the main beef of the game so i have already arranged this into alphabetical order and i chose this column so because you have to choose one and for the setup just just for the variability of the game Alright, so I have done that. Now now let's follow this reference card for the setup. So number one, put the player pawn on the game board in a location of your choice. I have decided to start in Cripple Gate. And if you have that, if you start if you go to a city, you have to get the card for the city and put it here. That is your advantage. That means you already know the you already have connections in that city and once you have visited all the cities you will have a bonus clue card um, next number two put the tokens near we have it here number three shuffle the fog cards I've already done that and stack the location number four take a random okay take a random non purple clue card to be the dark lady because purple are like let's say the hard hard version of the game so they have their own rules so we have random blue so our dark lady is a blue blue one so we put it here this is our dark lady and we have to find her next number five shuffle the clue cards until the top one matches the blue card so we have red we have green red green purple blue so we'll put it here okay all right so we have shuffled the clue card and we have the blue card on top. That will be our next clue card. Okay, so I think we are ready to start. Um, lastly, we have to cut the deck to randomize where the Dark Lady will start. So, okay, so she will start in this location. And then we put this at the bottom of the deck. Okay, now let's use our tracker. So let's look at this icon on the board so, because that's where she will start. She could probably be here, probably be here. And yeah, so we are in a perfect location. So there's chance that she will go to this location. All right, so first, now let's go to the reference card for the turn. First, we will move the update. Uh, I mean, we will move the Dark Lady. This is number one, update the Dark Lady's location. We will move the top stealth deck to the bottom of the deck and that's how she moves and perfectly she moved into our location I mean she possibly moved into our location now let's look at the house location so she can be here she could be here in our exact exact spot or she could have moved down here so these trackers show the possible locations of the dark lady and I am guessing, I can feel it, that she is here in our location. 
for that, let's go to our actions. At first, I can move my pawn to a location. I can search for the Dark Lady, which is what I'm going to do. Then, or we can use a fog card. We will talk about it later when we have a fog card in our deck. Or I can just pass and wait for her to move. Just observe her movement. For now, I'm going to do the search for the Dark Lady. To do that, we have to get the fog card to block the next card so we don't have we cannot see it without looking at the icon. So we have put the fog card there, a random one. Next is we will take this card and put it on top of the CT. You will notice that there's a hole here. You will find out later. Okay, this is imagine this is a keyhole and we're looking through a keyhole. Then if we find her head or her silhouette there, that means she is in this location. So exactly we have, you can see that is her silhouette. That is her head right there. That is the dark lady. All right. So we have found her. What now? Um, at first we discard, discard, all right? That is out of the game. Then we get our reward. Our reward is a clue. So we open the one the one on top and we have this clue. Now let's look closer at the card. What information did we get from here from this card? You might, uh, look at the left. We have three icons here. We have a ring, a music, and the quill icon. Then on the right we have numbers and the icon that matches our dark lady. So here we are looking at the blue and there's number one here. What that means is that one of these icons is showing in our Dark Lady. So only one of these icons. So to keep track of that, we will put the deduction tokens here on the gray side because we are not yet sure. Once we are sure, we can flip it to the dark side or colored side. Anyway, so... That's what we get. That's Those are the informations that we got from that card. Then what happens to the dark lady? She runs away. So we are sure that she is here. We can remove the, the tracking tokens. Next, we will we will advance the stealth deck by the number of the clue cards we had we have, including the one that we recently got. So for now we will move it to one. Okay. Now she moved to this location. It's probably this one or this one, right? So she ran away to St. Paul or Clerkenwell. Now that is our turn. Now we're ready to start our next turn. And remember, for the next turn, we will update the Dark Lady's location. So she moves again. So she is one step ahead of us because of that. But we are also one step ahead of finding out who she is okay so advancing the dark lady's location now she went to an entertainment area which could possibly be this one <laughs>